Hi, it's Brad. So it's been a long while since I have videoed any how-to projects from my uh, shop. And the uh, reason is I've been building a brand new man cave to bring craft stick bending to you. So this is the uh, process I'm on right now, building the man cave. This will house craft stick bending. Uh, making space, video, video editing, cabinetry, office, video editing, making studio, and crafting with craft sticks. So today we're going to have a special event to go to the Seattle Maker Fair as a uh, meet and greet, show and tell, and I'm going to give them the a little kit to make a catapult we have uh, quite a few catapults, not by that, quite a few catapults that we've made over the years. And then also the Space Needle. So I'm the Toy Maker's teacher. The Toy Maker is, uh, I'm the teacher and you are the Toy Maker. I offer STEAM education, science, technology, engineering, art, and math through the skills of bending, molding, and shaping wood for the purpose of re-engineering and making new, dot, uh, new uh, product designs. So get to right to this project here. First thing we do is uh, we soak our craft sticks overnight. In this particular project we use uh, paint can lids and we force the wet sticks into the lid. Both the top ring and the bottom ring. If it's not too full of paint, um, I have the local paint store put a little sign out to collect paint can lids and oh, over a course of a month I probably pick up you know half a dozen to a dozen ten or so but uh, most people don't clean them off but a lot of people do and I just throw away the ones that are really too bad oops get you out of focus there so anyhow this uh, particular shape is uh, used quite a bit in our catapults so then we put them out in the sun windowsill dash of the vehicle works really well as and then any size paint can works, paint can lid. So when they dry, they dry in that shape. So like I said, this shape we use quite a bit, a triangle shape for all sorts of geometric designs including so you can see you know you can really get a lot of stock of building supplies by this simple shape so the first thing we want to do for the um, catapult get a little bit of hot glue on there and there these clamps I usually pick them up at the Home Depot these little clamps also work well at Office Max or Depot or whatever is by you and what we're doing is we're just making the base for the catapult this part right here this one's been dry for a while. Okay. So the next thing we do is take another one of that same shape. This particular catapult is all from the same shape. A little glue there. Okay. 
So this angle works really well for the projectile. And while this is all setting up, we usually use uh, uh, water bottle lids or pop lids or beer can lids for to hold the marble. Oh, here's an example right there. Okay. So I love making and uh, we came across and invented this form of making things with craft sticks called craft stick bending and uh, we have hundreds and hundreds of different ways to bend wood to make stuff. So without this extra piece on the front this will have a tendency to be weak at this point so by putting the front piece on there that will help support the um, the arm of the catapult so that'll set up here in a minute but it's actually ready for business so these are uh, simple quick these are going to be given to the people tomorrow at the meet and greet uh, this one here is uh, just a little fan we made so adding uh, wires, batteries, servos, wheels are all part of the the projects that we do cell phone holder tongue depressors popsicle sticks up oh, good example of the triangle base I just made and showed you uh, another catapult and a break a window this is uh, whoops wrong way this is a handheld flashlight holder and uh, the reason why I like this is because it allows you to still grip and uh, hold on to something. Uh, other ones are farther up the wrist and not quite as user friendly. This one here just holds three flashlights. This was the first catapult we made. This one's got a double shooter. This one here I like, we have a tank, a little remote control tank that we pull this with. But um, this one we put on wheels. Oops, I'm gonna shoot myself here. This is just a little bigger, wider one with tongue depressors. And this one here, oops. This is a uh, adjustable catapult. So it goes in different slots and it also spins around and you can put this cap, adjustable cap up here and get a whole different angle with these two different, um, these were paint stir sticks and we bent them around uh, like a spatula or spoon, a kitchen, big kitchen spoon. So thank you for your time. This is uh, all new. We're really having a great deal of time. Like I said, I've been busy building my man cave, inventing and building things so that I can uh, bring these to YouTube, which ends up usually in your, uh, in your room, in your house. So these are for you. I will teach you how to make all this stuff as much as I can. Bye.